Hey guys, I want to first off start by saying again, sorry about the lighting. Um, as any Canadian would know that this time of year, there's absolutely no sunlight after about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the evening and um, upwards until about 8.30 in the morning. So if I'm filming any videos in the evening, it's going to have to be this lighting unless I can figure something else out. It's just, it's horrible. We barely get any sunlight in the winter time. Um, anyways, that brings me to the next part of it. I hope everyone is having a great beginning to December. I can't believe that it's already December. Where has the time gone? The fact that I'm actually going shopping for Christmas presents and feeling like I'm late in shopping for Christmas presents, that's not good. I was hoping to have everything done before December and now it's here and between being busy with life and work and all the other things, you know, that happen during life. Um, the fact that now there's Christmas shopping and, and parties and holiday seasons, it's just, it's crazy. Um, I will bring to your attention, though, that that's obviously why I am kind of a little more glammed up than usual. I have my work Christmas party tonight, um, so I'm not going to do an outfit of the day or anything like that, because I'm not a very stylish person, so fashion is never really a, a forte of mine. I love beauty and beauty products, but fashion I still need a little bit of help with. So, um, anyways, yeah, I have my work Christmas party tonight, and I'm really excited for it. I'm hoping that it can kind of be, um, I guess, a reprieve from the past couple of weeks and just um, being stressed and, and emotional and things like that. Um, anyways, I guess I should get into it before this, this video gets way too long. Uh, this is my, sorry, my November favorite. See, I'm all mixed up now. Um, yeah, so this is my November favorite products I've been using over the month of December that I've really loved. Some of them are products that I've used for years and years, but I kind of rediscovered and re-loved in November, so I thought that I should share that with you guys. There's a couple of makeup, uh, nail, skin, and then there's kind of a, a really random one as well, too. So anyways, I guess I should start with the skin one first, since it's the most handy. Um, this one here, again, like I said, I've been using this one for years. Um, again, on, off, never really regular. I have one always on hand, but sometimes they do go bad because I haven't used it in so long, so I have to throw it out and get a new one. But anyways, it's the St. Ives, and this is the Apricot Scrub. This is just the original one. Um, they do have many different kinds. I think they have one for acne prone skin, they have one for um, sensitive skin. I just love the original one. Um, it's been the, one of the best exfoliators that I can find, short of like Clarisonic sort of thing. It's, I don't really find that it's irritating, and I do have pretty sensitive skin. The, the trick with it, of course, is to be gentle. You have to make sure that you're gentle when you're scrubbing. And um, yeah, I, I love the smell. I love how it makes my skin feel afterwards. And most importantly, I think I love the price. Drugstore here, it's probably seven, eight dollars. Um, I found it when it was on sale, and it was three dollars. So I should have got more actually, but they might go bad. Who knows? Anyways, it's one that I use as often as I can. Um, sometimes I use it daily, sometimes I don't. Um, lately, I have been using it almost every morning, just because I find that my skin is getting um, on top of being oily, or I guess annoyingly oily, uh, I now have some flakes and stuff around the, the bridge of my nose, so I've just been using it as often as I can, but being gentle and I find that it works really, really well, so I definitely recommend that for everyone. Uh, the next product, uh, I guess I'll go into nails. The first one, um, I have a real habit sometimes of not biting my nails, but when I'm nervous I'll pick at them. Um, it's really bad habit. I know I've tried stopping it, and I've done it ever since I was young. I don't know why I started, but um, sometimes I'll pick them and I won't even really realize it, and then I'll I'll realize oh they're so short and they're they're unhealthy looking because I've been doing it for so long. So um, I went out the other day and got um, not the other day, but a couple of weeks ago I went and bought the Sally Hansen Vita Surge, and this is the growth gel. They have. I think probably four or five different formulas, and this one is the growth formula. It's the green one. I think they have one for brittle nails, and it's like an orange color, and then there's a couple other ones. But uh, this one I picked up. It was a little pricey for a nail pol like a nail product. I think it was nine or ten dollars. Um, but what it is is it's as you can see, it's this weird kind of gel consistency, and you it's got a weird applicator here. I'll see if I can show you guys. So. 
Yeah, it's got like a, a kind of a stick. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's got an applicator, and you just put it on your nails, and then you um, rub it around your nails and your cuticles, and it'll just absorb in. And uh, it's supposed to help the growth of your nails. They make a claim saying that it'll you know grow your nails in five days, sort of thing. But um, I just find for me, if I've um, picked out my nails or or my cuticle, and it's just it looks very unhealthy and um, it's not growing properly. I'll put this on and within a couple of days I notice that my nails are looking a little more healthier. They have a little more shine to them. Um, they're not kind of peeling in, in certain areas. It's just, it's it's a nice product and the fact that it's drugstore and it is under $10 about that, that's a good idea. Um, I can use it every day. Um, not really much more to say with this. If people have problems with unhealthy nails or their nails don't grow very fast or they just kind of want a treatment, I definitely recommend it. I don't like the ones that act as nail polishes that are treatments that you put on as like a base coat. I find they do absolutely nothing for my nails and I just kind of get that satisfaction more from things that absorb knowing that they're helping more. I don't know if that's true or not, but it just, that's my mindset, I guess. Uh, the next one, I kind of got recently, um, it was in November, but I've just been trying it a couple of times and I thought the color was perfect for um, my outfit for my work party because it is a green and it's the Sephora by OPI and this color is a color that can't be tamed. Now I don't think this is an old one, I don't think it's a new one. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've seen this in their collection before but uh, I got it and I love any green color. Green is one of my favorite colors and um, it just happened to go with my outfit for tonight. I didn't pick that or anything, but um, so I decided to put it on, and this is the color it looks. And again, the lighting's horrible, so you guys won't really be able to see. Um, but yeah, see, so you can see I don't have the longest nails in the world too, but uh, it's just this, this nice shimmery green color. Uh, it's very light, very pale, but I really like it. Um, and I think that was about twelve dollars at uh, Sephora, and yeah, it's. I don't know if it's a color that's regularly done by OPI, like if it's just within the Sephora collection. I have a feeling it is, but um, it's a great idea to stop by and pick that up if you guys are in Sephora. Uh, the next one is one that I actually mentioned in my previous video, um, my November Luxe Box video, how I was talking about how I'm beginning to like a company, a certain company more, and that company is Benefit. Um, they do uh, makeup products and skin products and uh, a bunch of things, but they're more well known for their makeup and primers and highlighters and things like that. And one that I've been wanting to try from them for a while um, is it's called Boing, and it's a concealer. Um, they used to have only two colors, and they used to be really dark and really yellow. So I never I never tried them, but um, I've been looking at it more and more, and I really do like the the benefit line in general. So I went to Sephora a little while ago and I saw that they had a new color and this one is in 01 and so it's a very very light version because as you guys can see I'm extremely pale and it, it really is very light. I'm quite surprised as you guys can see there. I don't like dark concealers and it's almost immediate when I put one on that I can tell it's not the right color for me at all. And this one, surprisingly, is very, very close to my skin tone. Like, I have makeup on my face, but you guys can see my neck, and it's it's very close to my skin tone. So, um, this product here, I want to say that it was about $23, maybe? $25? I can't remember exactly, but it's mid-20s for sure. And it's a great concealer. It's thick. Um, I don't like the ones that are, like, the CoverGirl liquid concealer. I just don't find they conceal anything. You might as well use foundation then. So I like the fact that this is thick and I just use a little, actually I use a lip liner brush to apply it and it just gets in the really precise areas and it, it gets exactly where I need it to. Um, okay, and then the next product was actually in one of my previous Lux boxes, oh, I'm going to say maybe two months ago, three months ago. And it's a full-size version of the product, which is amazing, and it's a Laura Mercier product, which is even more amazing. But um, I recently went through my boxes and picked out stuff that I wasn't using yet and decided to try it, and I'm so glad I did with this one. It's the Laura Mercier Eyeshadow, and this one is in Sandstone. And what it is, is it's just a really nice, um, you can't see it too easily on here, but it's a very, very pale pink color, almost like a sand. Um, and it's 
it's just gorgeous and it is a shimmer um, you don't need much of it at all and it works as a great base coat I will use this almost every day in the morning before work and um, all you do is you just put a little bit on your lids after you've put some primer on and then you just do a little bit of a darker color in the crease I use you know wet and wild or MAC color for that and it just brings this kind of shimmer contour to your eyes that looks um, natural and a little more understated versus a, a bolder shadow look but um, yeah it's a great color uh, I don't know if they make it still at all I'm gathering they do but I definitely recommend you guys to try it out and after using this I will for sure be trying more of the Laura Mercier line in general they're now available at Sephora and in, in Canada here so it's a lot easier for us to get and um, even if this was priced at I think it, they said in the um, in the Lux Box pamphlet, they said something about it being about $22. I think that's a great price for a single eyeshadow. I'm learning now that quality is more important than price. And uh, with MAC eyeshadows being $13, $14, they're great. But quality for another $10, I'm willing to pay for. So um, that's the end of kind of the makeup and, and that sort of beauty products. The next product um, I've had to recently go back to over the past couple of weeks. Like I said in one of my previous videos, um, I recently had a close friend that passed and um, of course there's all the emotions that go with that and um, all the things that you have to deal with and, and just just the stress and yeah emotional upheaval I guess of that and one of the products that I had in my cupboard and I recently tried one night when I was just completely unable to sleep it's the Celestial Seasonings and this is the Sleepy Time Herbal Tea um, I love Celestial Seasoning as a brand. They're really great for teas. They're available in all the grocery stores. And I just, there's just something about the boxes and just the kind of retro look of the packaging that I've loved. Not to mention that they have so many different flavors and they're all really good. Um, but yeah, I ended up trying this one. It is a mix between chamomile and mint. And I did do herbology and nutrition in school. And chamomile is a really great calming herb, as well as mint. But not only are they calming, they're soothing too. And chamomile in particular is really soothing to the digestive tract and the muscle tissue and things like that. So it just, it actually does relax your body and your muscles. And uh, I wouldn't say that it, you know, it put me out completely, but it actually did help to relax. So I find that on any of the evenings where I'm a little more stressed out or, um, if I'm just kind of not having a good day again, I will have one of, a cup of these in the evening, and it really does help to just <clears throat> to just kind of settle things and um, relax them a little bit more. And I think this was four dollars at the grocery store. It has um, 20 tea bags in it, so even if you you know had a tea bag every night, it would still last you almost a month, which is great. And yeah, that is my November favorites. I hope you guys all enjoyed them. Um, if you have any more suggestions or comments or, um, yeah, just any requests for videos, I'm more than willing to do them. Um, I kind of would like some creative inspiration here. I'm not sure what exactly to do because I'm not very big with makeup and tutorials and things like that, so I'm trying to keep it to reviews and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah, anyways, I want to thank you all again. I have um, I have a blog that you guys can check out, as well as I'm on Twitter, so please feel free to add me. Um, yeah, and I just want to thank you guys again for being my subscribers and sticking around, even though I was kind of absent for a little while. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great uh, beginning to December. See you guys.